Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I have a perfume haul for you. Another haul, I have here five perfumes. This time, this is the first time when we don't have any fairs. Um, I have here one perfume that I'm not totally in love, but I do really like it. But with the other four, amazing, 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 amazing. So, if you wanna know uh, what perfumes I got and what I think about them, stay tuned. And if you like this video, don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump in. The first perfume that we have in here is from Victor and Ralph, and this one is Flower Bomb Nectar. This, I got just a partial bottle because this can be expensive, okay? Especially for designers. This, like the 30ml bottle, retails for 60, 70 pounds, which is a lot. For a designer, it's a lot. I got this one, this is a 90ml bottle, I believe, and I don't know, I have here like 40ml. That's just enough. That's enough for me. I don't need more than this. This, I wanted for the longest time. I tested this one years ago in the store, and I was just like, oh. This is amazing, I need this one in my collection, but the price, I didn't like the price, okay? But now, I finally have it, I don't need the full bottle, so let's talk about the notes. Flower Bomb Nectar has opening, gunpowder, cassis, and bergamot. In the middle we have osmanthus, orange blossom, and jasmine, and then right down we have tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, and patchouli. This one... I had also a travel size. I had like eight mil decant and I used that. I used that up. So I knew, I knew that I'm gonna like this one. It is similar to the original flower bomb. I don't have the original, but I'm gonna add that one to my collection because I recently, not as recently, a couple of months ago, I tested that one again and I love it. I just love it. I really don't know why I never had that one in my collection. This, it's similar to the original. It's just more fruity. I don't understand why. It has Osmond, it has orange blossom. It has this orangey, peachy thing going on. It's very sweet, okay? It's very, very sweet. I don't know what that, how gunpowder smells like, but I can smell in this. Like, it is something that I didn't smell in any, in any other perfume. And it's in here. It's a very sweet perfume, okay? It's similar to the original, but I would say it's more fruity, more like orangey, peachy, sweet. But it's very sweet. If you test this one, if you smell this one like very close, probably you're gonna find this like way too sweet because it's very sweet. But in the air, like from here, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very sweet. It has like a gourmand touch compared to, compared to the original flower bomb. This one um, is not as floral, I would say. Yeah, I, I think I think I know now how gunpowder smells like, even though that sounds weird. It's just something in this one. A little bit met metallic maybe, but not metallic in like tone for metallic or that no, it's it's something different. I do really like it. I do really like it. This one is beast mode, okay? This one that's why I was just okay with 40 mil because I don't need more than that. This it's very strong, has a very good projection, but it's very sweet. So I would say definitely try this one first. If you like Flower Bomb, definitely check this one out. I'm not really getting the patchouli. Mm, maybe just a little bit, but the patchouli in this is not patchouli as in, I don't know, La Vie Belle from Lacombe. It's not that type, but it's like very sweet. So if you like Flower Bomb, the original, La Vie Belle, that type of sweetness, you are going to definitely like this one. I do really like it. It has amazing lasting power. I really like the bottle. And yeah, yeah. I totally recommend you to go and test this one first because it can be a little bit too sweet, but I do really like it. So, Flower Bomb Nectar from Victor and Ralph. The next one that we have in here is from Gerla, and this one is the newest one from the La Petit Rome Noir collection. And I'm talking about La Petit Rome Noir Nectar. I was so intrigued by this one because I do have the original La Petit Rome Noir, have the intense version, the off fresh version and the black perfecto version and i really really like that line so i want to see how the nectar smells like this is a box i got just a 30 ml bottle because i wasn't sure i wasn't sure i've heard people saying that this one is very similar to the original i do really like the original absolutely i just i don't just like it i absolutely love it so i didn't want to have two of them the bottles are very very similar this is the original this is the nectar they're very similar. So, 
Let's talk about the notes because the notes sound amazing. We have opening, almond, macaroons and bergamot. Middle we have honey, Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose and the dry down we have tonka bean and patchouli. This one. Okay, so you're definitely getting the bergamot in the opening, but that goes away very, very quickly. Normally, cherry and almond sometimes can be can smell very similar so the original la petit robe noir has sour cherry it has i think also it has almond in this and it has a very strong licorice note that i absolutely love i know so many people don't like that note but i do really really like it this one doesn't have any cherry it has the almond but like i said sometimes cherry and almond in perfumes they can smell very similar and this perfume, they do. They do smell pretty similar. What is the difference? I would say this one is sweeter than the original. Okay, if you test them side by side, you can definitely tell that this one has cherry and this one doesn't. But if you test just this one, when I first got this one, I sprayed just this one, I was like, this is the original. Like, this is La Petit Rob Noir. It is not. Like I said, if you test them side by side, you can definitely tell that one has cherry, this one doesn't. Now, you're not getting the licorice in this because obviously it doesn't have. And I do really, really like the licorice in the original. It makes it, I don't know, like this sour cherry alcoholic drink. I, I really, really like it. And what I've noticed, this one is not as dusty as the original. I think the original also Black Perfecto. One has iris, one has musk, and somehow they are getting very dusty on my skin. They're very cold, okay, and dusty. I, I like that. I do really like that. This one doesn't have that dustiness. I would say the Nectar version, it's more a... How do, how do I say this? It's more like design. I know that is designed, like Gerla is designer, but I think this one is more interesting. This one is more uh, crowd-pleasing. Yeah, that's the word. Like most people, more people are gonna like this one um, than the original. If you don't like the original, maybe you're gonna like this one because it doesn't have that licorice. It's not as original, I would say. It's more mainstream. That's the word that I'm looking for, mainstream. It's sweeter, it doesn't have that licorice. It doesn't have that dusty feeling. It's not as cold as uh, the original. I do really like it, okay? I do really like it, but I do much prefer this one. I find this one more interesting, more unique. I find this one different. Like I don't have anything else in my collection that smells like this one. This, even though, yeah, it smells very similar to the original. If I smell this one on someone, I would not say, oh, you're wearing La Petit Rob Noir. No, with this, you can definitely tell if someone is wearing this perfume. With this one, it just smells like a very sweet designer scent. I do really like it. I do really like it, but I don't think you need both of them. I think that if you love the original, just stick with the original. If you don't like the original, maybe try this one out. This one have, has, uh, doesn't have that licorice and some people don't like that note. So yeah, I really don't know. I do really like it, but I think that you should try both of them and then decide which one you like better because there's not really a point to have both of them in your collection. So. La Petit Rome Noir Nectar from Gerla. Another perfume from Gerla that I wanted for the longest time. This one was a blind buy. And people were saying that this one is amazing. And I had to have it. It's a very expensive fragrance. It was out of stock everywhere. I emailed uh, Gerla. They said they don't know exactly when it's going to be back in stock. And I found this one on the Selfridges website. They had two left in the stock. I said, okay, I'm going to get this one later. Checked again. It was one left so i had to have it i'm talking about gerla gulman coquin just 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 look at this presentation this is absolutely like stunning like i'm in love it's expensive yeah but also the presentation is like bomb so i don't really care because also the scent is just this is the chocolate scent i already have another chocolate scent i have um montal chocolate greedy and that one is just perfect for me. Absolutely love that one. So I wasn't sure if I need this, but people were talking so high about this perfume. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to get this one. So Gerla Gulman Coquin notes. We have 
dark chocolate, cacao, rum, vanilla, spices, rose, and pepper. This one, what I don't like about this one, I have to be honest, this cup, like, you have to like twist it to get it out. I know it's pretty hard, but anyway, I really like the bottle. This doesn't feel that expensive though. This like plate here, I know it feels quite cheap, but anyway, like the overall look is like amazing. Just this finger really annoys me because it's not very hard. It's pretty thin and yeah. Let's talk about the perfume now. This smells exactly how people describe this. This smells in the opening like those chocolates that have um, rum inside. It smells exactly like that. You're also get you're getting the chocolate. It's more uh, it's more like a dark chocolate in my opinion, it's like mm -hmm. dark chocolate with rum. But you're getting also this this like powdery cacao. <sighs> it's so good. It's so good. When it starts to dry down, it's less gourmand. It's still very gourmand. Okay, so the opening is like super gourmand. Then in the dry down, it's not that gourmand, and you're definitely getting some spices, getting some spices, and you're getting some pepper in it. I do really, really like it. I I think that this in the fall is gonna be absolutely amazing. I have to say, uh, lasting power was was good. Projection. It seems when you first test this one, it seems that it's not going to project because it sits pretty close to the skin. But I tested this one on my boyfriend because, yes, I do that. I test perfumes on his skin because I want to see how perfumes smell on different skins. So, yeah. And while he was just moving, I sprayed this one once on his uh, wrist. While he was moving, I could smell it. Like, I could smell. I was like, oh my God, something in here that smells absolutely amazing. And then I realized, is this? Is this perfume? So even though... When you test it like this, it seems like it's gonna stay close to the skin somehow, somehow. You can smell it. Like it has good projection. I don't know how. I really don't know how. But we really like it. now it's getting spicy, it's getting more spicy. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because this is an, an expensive perfume. It's different from Montal Chocolate Greedy. Okay, so if you have that one, you can you can definitely have this one as well. That one is more like chocolatey milky with some fruits in it this one this one is getting spicy not very spicy because i don't like very very spicy perfumes but this one this one it's your fall winter cozy gourmand it's darker it's richer it's beautiful it's beautiful i think in the uk it's pretty hard to find this one i mean i know it's pretty hard because it took me almost one year to find this bottle I think in the US it's not as hard and I do believe you can find it in stores. So go and check, ask the sales assistant if they have, um, I don't know, samples, a tester or something. Because this one, it's so, so, so good. So I love this one. I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Like I said, it was a blind buy, a very expensive blind buy. Um, I think the most expensive, yeah, I think this one was the most expensive blind, blind buy that I've ever done. But it was a, to a total success. I absolutely love this one. So, yeah. Uh, Gourmand Coquin from Gerla. It's a big, big, big love for me. The next perfume that we're going to talk about is my first perfume from this house. And this is from Memo Paris, Tamarindo. Just look at this bo box. It's, it's everything, okay? This is the box. And this is the bottle. This was not a blind buy. Uh, me and Pika we we changed some samples she, she sent me some samples and ugh, i just love so many perfumes from that exchange like i i love so many and i need to add them to my collection but they're so expensive i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna make a video with everything that she sent me because she sent me some perfumes that just phew, they're gonna blow your mind because they they definitely did to me okay so tamarindo this Immediately after I sprayed this one, I was like, yes, I need this one in my collection. I went on All Beauty. They had a sale on Memo Paris. And I was like, okay, that's destiny. I have to have this one. Love the bottle. Love the box. Love the scent. Let's talk about the notes. Tamarindo has opening bergamot, cardamom, 
uh, mandarin orange and orange, middle we have pineapple, jasmine, tuberose, ylang ylang, peach and coconut and the dry down we have patchouli, vanilla and benzoin. This one, let's put this one here. After I actually ordered this, I went on Fragrantica because I, I, I love that this one that much that I was like, I don't need Fragrantica. I know I love it. I know I have to have it. And people are saying that this one is similar to Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. I don't have that perfume. That perfume did something weird on my skin, so I don't know. But this one reminds me of this. Sofia by Sofia Vergara. I know the prices are very different. This one is very inexpensive. This one is, this one is expensive, okay? This one is niche. I would say the biggest difference is this one... You can definitely tell that this one is more expensive. It's more well blended. This one is brighter, okay? And it has that pineapple note that sticks on in the fragrance like the entire time. The entire time you can definitely smell the pineapple in this. And also the other fruits we're getting, the jasmine. I would say this one is more sweety, syrupy. This one is still sweet, but this one is more airy. Um, and more appropriate for spring and summer. This in the summertime is gonna be absolutely amazing. Oh, I really like this one. It really gives me Sofia by Sofia Vergara DNA, but just not as scratchy. I'll not say Sofia it's scratchy because you know, you know, I still love this scent, okay? But it's definitely more creamy, probably from the coconut and more fruity and airy and that very similar. Not, I would say that like 70% similar, but that 30% makes me want to have both of them. I know, like I said, this one is pretty expensive, but it's good. Like, it's good. This is a vacation scent. This one is, it's not your suntan lotion, that type. No, 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 it's not that. It's your fruity, also floral, but different, but still something that most people are gonna love. I don't know, it has good lasting power, it has good sillage, I love the bottle, I love everything about this. Um, I don't care if this one smells pretty similar to something that is very, very inexpensive because I love both of them and yeah, definitely check this one, test it first, test also Sofia if you have the chance and see which one you like more. Not sure about the comparison to Coco Mademoiselle because I don't have that perfume and I didn't like that perfume on my skin. So yeah, test this one if you know you like Sofia or... Uh, Coco Mademoiselle, check this one out. I love it. I just, I love it. It's so, so good. It has this like peach, getting different the jasmine, but the pineapple is like the start. The pineapple is not overly sweet. It is sweet, but it's not too much. It's not sickening sweet. It's not syrupy sweet. It's airy. It's, it's amazing. So, Tamarindo from Memo Paris. And the last perfume that we have in here is from the House of Oud. And this one is date delight just look at this bottle i know i said i'm gonna sell my almond harmony i changed my mind okay that one is staying this i did a video where i tasted a couple of the house of food perfumes and this one was my favorite absolutely love this one but i said this one is very expensive and there is no need for me to have it right now because this one is a heavy perfume this one it's a scent for the fall and for the winter and blah 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 but i have it why someone was selling this Okay, with no box, but this one was full. Should I tell you how much I paid for this? You probably already know how much this one is. This one was 90 pounds for the house of food. Like, I know for most people that are gonna think that I'm insane because I paid that much, but this is like an amazing price. This is like more than half price. It's, I don't know. It's more than half price, definitely. I love this one. I love this one. And when I saw that someone was selling this for 90 pounds, like, that's mine. That is mine. It's full, doesn't have the box, but I don't care. I don't care about boxes. And the scent is just gorgeous. So let's talk about the notes. This one has opening dates and peony. In the middle, you have cinnamon, caramel, tonka bean, and coumarin. And in the dry down, you have sugar, honey, vanilla, benzoin, and love the note. Love the note. This, let's spray this one here. This is not for everyone, okay? 
this is not for everyone this you're getting the dates definitely you're getting the cinnamon i'm i i do not know how i'm getting labdanum very very strongly in this at least on, on my skin labdanum gives this leathery touch to a fragrance it's not leather like leather leather but it gives that leathery touch not really getting the caramel getting something woody here maybe that kumarin have no idea what that is maybe some honey i ah, know it's very well blended it's very dark okay it's sweet but very very dark i really like this one i really truly like this one if you like perfumes like i don't know exactly how to describe this because it's much like dates it's much like cinnamon it's much like something woody but something sweet in the same time a little bit leathery if you like things like initial side effect or noir de noir from tom ford that type of scent which is, where is a little bit gourmand as well but it's still dark and sexy and is dark is dark and powerful i really like this one not a safe line buy like i said the scent is definitely not for everyone and um, it's expensive it's very expensive but for that price like i had to have it okay bottle is beautiful lasts very long on the skin has great projection i absolutely love this one and i can't believe that i actually have this one in my collection because this this is amazing so this delight from the house of wood is our last scent and i absolutely love it and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you like this video if you tested these perfumes if you didn't if you want to try more from these houses and yeah that was it for today if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye